a number of people have been wondering when we are going to reopen. Let me say this about that. When I was working as a therapist, I knew a lot of families who would send their wayward children to outward bound. They would climb around in the mountains in Colorado for a while. And the hope was that they would come across a rock face that could not be charmed or manipulated. That they would enter into a compact with reality where they would realize that life was larger than they were and there were many things that could not be controlled and that their parents couldn't really help them with. I don't know whether this worked or not, but I see the virus kind of like a rock face that we're climbing. We're trying to find handholds, we're trying to find footholds, we're trying to not look down. We are roped together, we're not free climbers. What happens to one of us happens to all of us. And we hope that we can keep each other secure and safe and connected. But we don't know what's gonna happen with this virus. So our plan for reopening is this. We're gonna follow the guidelines of our health department. We're going to ask our medical folks in the congregation for their advice. It's not gonna be for a while. We want us all to be safe. Some people have suggested that we have a lottery and let 10 people in at a time on a Sunday. That doesn't sound right. I don't want some of us to be able to be together and others not. We want it to be fair. We want it to be joyful. We want to all be together again at the same time. Oh, we want to reopen as much as everybody does. Chris and I and the rest of the staff miss you immensely. And I know you are missing one another as well. So we will stay in communication about this. Keep reading your Friday electronic newsletter. And thank you for tuning in on Sundays. The staff and I and Chris, we work hard on the Sunday worships and you all have been very kind and appreciative. We will keep the flame burning safely. We love you all.